Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to this video. And today, I want to talk about the T34 and also the Fury, which is no point in buying because you know it's basically 30 days of premium tying and a free tank. Which, if you need the premium, sure. Now, we're going to talk about the T34. Now, I don't have this specific vehicle, however, I have the T34, which is the exact same tank. So, that is very nice. Now, you get 30 days, 500,000. Why is this a great offer? You may ask. Well, quite simple. The T34 is a very good premium tank. And for 5.5k, you also get a lot of bonuses. Now, uh, if you remember back to Black Friday, you had the M449, the MX, for 5,000, and the E75TS for 4,500, without all those bonuses. So this is actually a very, very good deal, and one of the best in the game as well, because while the tank itself isn't really that amazing, and isn't really that outstanding, it does have one characteristic that makes it an absolutely amazing premium tank. That is its penetration. You basically never have to fire premium rounds with this tank, which means you're going to have a shitload of credits in this tank. You also have 400 alpha damage, which means you don't have to fire that many rounds. And the turret is basically impenetrable all over the place, so you can go hold down quite easily to get that damage. So, ideally, don't get this thing into a city. So, let's not do that. Let's go into a battle. Hmm. So we go into the battle with the T-34, I mean, the 1776 is really the exact same tank, it's like the Snowstorm Jagdtiger and the Jagdtiger. Um, but then basically they gave up on making double tanks and then they made legendary camels instead. And uh, also if you look in World Tank PC, you have the T-34B, the I-6B. So, Morgami kind of tried the same thing there, but then instead they abandoned that. Um, and went for legendary camels instead because obviously um, if you sell two different tanks people are only going to be uh, buying one of them however if you sell a tank and the camel on top of it it is a lot more likely that people buy both so they can make a lot more money makes sense right and speaking of making money this thing is a great one to do that to make credits for yourself so i think this is definitely one that belongs on the list of tanks that you might want to have if you don't Yet. Obviously, if you're broke, then other tanks might be a better option, like the T-54E2. However, that's obviously massively more expensive. So, this can actually be the better option, even though it's a very, very old tank. It still has quite a lot of gas left in the tank, otherwise it wouldn't move anywhere. And, uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it right now, because, obviously, this is still a very, very good tank. And if I wouldn't say that, first of all, Undog would kill me. And second of all, I would be lying, because even though it's a very old tank, it is still very, very good. It's certainly better than the MX CDA, which some people apparently think is worth anything, because... I mean, look, it's a tank destroyer. A paper tank destroyer in World of Tanks Blitz. That's never gonna be any good. Pretty much. So, that is a bit... Unfortunately, for the people that got this CDA. Anyway, uh, my, my wheel is still acting up, so I don't know why that is. But anyway, let's not try to go for the T92 here. I guess that it might make us some sense to go for him. I mean, yeah, they're kind of dead up there. Very dead up there. Yeah, he missed. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fall back and change side. And try to, at least. Um, because otherwise, obviously, I will have the entirety of my very weak hull exposed to the enemy team. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we beat the heavies, they got beat by the mediums, so... Oof. We're the bad ones? Alright, sure. Okay, let's see if we can make something work on that projector. Probably not done. We can not die to him here. That's 2.3k damage, which is quite an average game, I'd say. And I'm gonna die here as well. And um, we're just gonna be... Quite a decent showing of how much credits you can make with this tank. So, let's see. So as you can see, I did get the extra credits and XP, because I am actually not a noob. So, let's take a look at the credits real quick. 61,000 earned. Um, obviously, if you run less provisions, then you could make a lot more. But here with the premium account, we made 57,000. Without a premium, we made 33. So even if your 30 days of premium account expire, you're still going to make quite a decent amount of credits with this tank as well, which is very nice. And obviously, um, if you get some extra rewards here, um, like an ace or a top gun or something like that, then you can get even more. So, basically, it is a very good credit armor at that. So, let's get another one. So, now we're going to go into the second one here, and the SU 130PM is making a very sensible announcement there, which is quite nice. Um, 
And now, obviously, what we need on this map is that ridge line. That is all we need on this map. And also, kind of, the hill. And, uh, he's a bit too mad, I think. I mean, I like the enthusiasm at the beginning. Now, well, I mean, I do agree that the Skoda is stupid, but I don't really have to voice that in the in-game chat, because either he knows or he doesn't care. So it's kind of pointless to post that, but anyway. Um, so, now we can see our... We gotta push this, come on, people. Yes, Amex, good job. We need that ridge line. If you don't control that ridge line, you can basically just go packing most of the time. However, if we do control it, let's try and get a shot on the yaw. He has the three shot, which means uh, he's stock. Basically, the three shot I is the stock gun on the M5 yaw, because obviously the two shot unloads faster, but has a. Oh, boy, oh, yo, yo, yo. Where's that lag? Um, but has a lot better unload speed. Okay, now T49 in the back. I mean, that's good, it doesn't matter. But as long as he can somehow keep that rear clear, that will be kind of useful. Now, you can see right there the penetration of this tank straight through the front plate of the 53 TP. Um, with just standard ammo. And that was more what makes this tank so special, because you just don't need to fire APC the entire time. If you have a very good game with like 3k damage, you can make up woods of 100,000 credits on this thing, if you do it well. Okay, especially if you have credit boosts as well, which unfortunately this bundle does not include, so that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, here we go. Oh, he's... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's Goda isn't really doing much, but at least he's doing something, and that's already a nice thing to see, because, I mean, like, most of Blitz players tend to, like, go downhill these days, um, so having a bit of effort is already positive, even though it's not much, I guess. Okay, so here we go, just straight through, doesn't matter. Um, obviously now I'm very low because of the Vickers. He's, he's playing quite a decent game, like he didn't get the, the island, which would have been very important for him, but he's still playing a decent game nonetheless. Let's try and go for the low here, obviously I can't really peek long, because I'm very low and I do have a Coppola that can be penned. If the enemy is very accurate, or very lucky, or both. Um, so I'm going to have to be somewhat careful there, especially with the big... Oh, he's moving away. Anyway. Scratch that. Um, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, there you go. Hello? Game? Yeah, that, that might be because my HD is currently doing a bit too much work. But anyway, 2.8, that's not too bad. And now, uh, might be able to finish him off here. Hopefully, anyway. And, uh, still hiding. Oh, that was not me. And the Vickers CR is still alive. So, now it should be time for him to die. To go to sleep. At the hands of the T92, ideally. Uh, as long as he can't run away. But, yeah, that's it. The 2 4 Very great premium tank. Decent tank. Um, and certainly worth buying for the 5.5k. Because it is one of the best credit earners in the game. As well. Not the best tank, though, but the best credit maker. So, I'd say it's worth it. I, I do say that very rarely, so you know what that means. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.